What's up guys, we're back. So last video, we got the tank taken care of. We got the fuel pump in. Uh, we didn't have a battery, but we went and got one. So I have a battery over there on the bench. And then also we have this stuff here. So we're gonna try and get this done today. Get these new master slave cylinder and uh, steel braided line for the clutch installed on this car. So the clutch pedal is right. And then after that, we may try and crank it. We'll see what we do. So let's go ahead and get it uh, backed up off that so we can get under the dash and start getting that master cylinder removed. Then we'll get it the new one put on, put it back on the lift, go underneath it, get the slave cylinder in the line. Uh, I have a tool now that we can do to force bleed it, get that done, and then we'll see where we go from there. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so step one, uh, the windshield wiper fluid. This reservoir sits right here, right in front of the mass cylinder for the clutch. It is just sitting on a clip here. You just lift it up, it'll come right out and you can move it off to the side. Uh, I was gonna get the fluid out of it, but you can see it's bone dry from sitting so long so we don't have to get that out of it and then uh, right here the line use a line wrench you can use the reg leg or a uh, regular wrench but a lot of times these will round off so if you have the line wrenches use that get that off then you can see there's just two bolts here and here which we can unbolt it here and then under the dash there's a pin to remove I believe to get it free from the pedal so let's go ahead and uh, try and go under the dash first Okay, so we went under the dash. I'll put a picture here right now you can look at. All right, and that shows the pin and uh, the cotter pin that's holding that in. We went in there and got that out from under the dash. Uh, here's the line wrenches that we're gonna use to uh, pull this line off. You can see the difference uh, in a regular wrench in these. These are a lot more closed in, so they get a lot more surface area on the line so you don't round it off. So let's go ahead and get down in here and get this part off and then we can pull it out. Okay, so we got it out, it's pretty easy. Uh, we have to use a wrench, just a regular 12 millimeter wrench to get this top bolt out, no problem. Down here we used a, I think a six inch extension, a swivel and a 12 millimeter socket. So you can see this one, it's completely dead. It's no good. And here's the new one, nice and shiny. And you can see it actually works. So we'll match up the pull on this to the one that was on the car and get it back in the car and then we'll be done up top. All right, so we got it in, it's fairly simple. Uh, the lid's still off, we added a little bit of fluid but we're gonna force bleed it from the bottom. I don't know if that was necessary but we just went ahead and did it. Uh, but yeah, it's all in, so now we'll get it up in the air and we'll work underneath. All right, so here it is. Put this on somewhere. Slave cylinder, we're gonna replace this as well. Here's the soft line. We're gonna place that with a actual steel braided hard line. It'll give you a little firmer feel in the pedal when you use it. So let's go ahead and get this off and we'll get that new one on.
All right, we had some issues bleeding it. Uh, I'll have to investigate that later, but everything is installed. I just may need a second hand. Uh, the line might be plugged. I don't think it is, but we'll address that another day. I did put the battery in it. You hear the chime running. Uh, let's see what happens when we turn the key. All right, so you tell it cranked, but it did not start. We'll have to do some investigating. This noise, I have no idea. The key's in the run position. It is whatever's in this. I don't know if this is some kind of EVAP pump, but we'll have to do some more research and see what's going on here. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for today. Uh, we obviously have some more investigating to do to kind of figure out what's going on. We have that weird noise coming from up front of the bumper. I'm not sure what that electric motor is. If somebody does know, uh, leave a comment below if any Z31 guys know. So we can help me figure this out. But uh, we probably have to check to make sure we're getting fuel uh, up to the motor. Just make sure that pump's working right, that it's, that it's moving fuel, and the lines aren't clogged. I don't think they are. But we'll double check that and probably double check get somebody over here to help me bleed that clutch line out a little bit better you can tell it is better i have pressure the clutch pedal returns now which it didn't before it used to fall and stop so we got a long ways on that but until the next video hopefully we can get some more progress done and maybe get a little bit further along in this project so as always like subscribe share do all the things and we'll catch y'all next time